this video, I'll show you guys how the plasma vortex in my previous two videos works. So the reason that the arc rotates like this is because there is a Lorentz force acting on it. A Lorentz force is the force that a magnetic field applies to a moving electric charge. The current flowing through the arc is interacting with the magnetic field from the magnet. We can accurately predict the direction that the arc will rotate as long as we know which side of the magnet is the north side and we know what the polarity of each of the electrodes are. What we'll use to determine the direction of rotation is called the right hand rule. Using your right hand, point your thumb in the direction of the conventional current flow, which is from positive to negative. Now with your fingers pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, the Lorentz force applied to the moving electric charge will be in the direction that the palm of your hand is facing. Now let's take a look at what the field of a magnet looks like. The direction of the magnet's magnetic field flows from the north pole to the south pole. Remember that for the right hand rule, we'll be using conventional current flow, which is from positive to negative. This is the opposite of the electron flow, which is from negative to positive. Now imagine we're slicing the ring magnet down the center from the north pole to the south pole with the positive electrode in the center of the magnet and the negative electrode connected to the outside of the magnet. The current from the arc flows from the center electrode to the magnet and the direction of the magnetic field is downward through the center of the magnet from the north pole to the south pole. Using the right hand rule we can determine the direction that the plasma arc will rotate. If you're looking at the vortex from the north side of our example the arc will rotate in a counterclockwise direction. Another good way of demonstrating the Lorentz force is by making a homopolar motor. The arc in the vortex is essentially playing the same role as the wire in the motor. All you need to make one is a battery, a magnet, and some wire. I like to tack a few washers on top of the battery to keep the wire in place. We can also determine the direction of rotation with the right hand rule just like we did with the vortex. Flipping the magnet over reverses the direction of rotation. Hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.